GoGo Town is a relaxing life sim coming to PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation in 2024. And trust me, it is like nothing you have ever seen before. The story in GoGo Town is you are the new mayor and you are tasked with making it a bustling economy. To be quite honest, this game has started to scratch an itch that was formerly scratched by Animal Crossing. I've played many hours in the GoGo Town playtest, and I have five reasons why I think you are going to love this upcoming relaxing game. The graphics are what initially caught my attention about GoGo Town. They're 3D, vividly colored, whimsical, there's good lighting effects, and it's just so gosh darn happy. But it doesn't stop there. The details that the devs have put into GoGo Town are top notch and kind of have a Japanese feel. Look at the adorable tourism hub building, which shows the bunny mascot that I created. As you create it in the little machine attached to the building, it updates the mascot on the building. And then there is a worker that wears the mascot that you create as a costume and walks around your town. That is a really cool new item they added in the recent update for this play test. The juice bar has cute signage in a cup. There's a hot dog vendor, a photo booth complete with a moving curtain, a courier building with an animated box, a sweets and treats business with 3D decor, and a cool arcade next to it. And then there are all the work areas like the fishing pond and the farm. The graphics remind me of clay. They're so smooth and rounded and colorful. I truly am in love with this style and think they're doing a fantastic job with the overall aesthetic of GoGo Town. With a name like GoGo Town, one can assume that some sort of transportation will be featured, and indeed, this is the case. But it's so much more than you'd expect. The tourists arrive to GoGo Town periodically via train and meander throughout the shops and various tourist locations. Meanwhile, in order to keep the shops supplied with merchandise and food, you and your workers need some wheels. Your employees have little trucks to drive around, and so do you, but you also have a bicycle, a skateboard, a really cool go-kart that is insanely fast. It's actually too fast. I really don't like driving it because it's so tough to drive, but it's fun to leave skin marks everywhere. And my personal favorite, the unicorn tricycle, which I call my Uniwhip. <laughs> what would happen if you accidentally run into the tourists, you ask? <laughs> well, my friend, let me show you, as it's highly therapeutic. At first glance, you see the normal farming sim elements of garden plots, a watering system, animal coops, and stalls. But then you see a few items out of the ordinary, like machines that process milk into cartons, roast coffee beans, and mill flour. And then these machines and your produce items are shelved into inventory bins before selling. But wait, there's more. You and your workers can then transport these farm products to fuel your town restaurants and shops or sell to fulfill export bids. You even have a cute little export building over here. And you can hire up to two villagers to work on your farm. GoGo Town is indeed a life sim, but has a lot of city building aspects. You have a blank slate when beginning GoGo Town and have an app in your in-game phone where you can unlock various tiers of building kits to use throughout your town. You have full control over how to organize your town, what shops you want to put where, where to house your workers, assigning your workers to jobs, placing decorative items such as trash cans, lights, trees, bushes, and you can terraform. You can turn dirt into paved streets, water into more real estate for new shops, and add ponds wherever you like. It's easy to use and lots of fun to play with and to see big changes to your town in a short amount of time. Finally, we have automation. 
Once you build a few shops in your town, you'll soon find yourself wishing for help collecting and delivering goods. Rest assured, GoGo Town has some features that will help automate and assist you with this. For starters, you can purchase packs in your phone app that unlock the ability to hire workers in the mine, the forestry sector, as well as on the farm and the fishing pond. You can also build a maintenance office to hire sanitation workers because the tourists have tons of garbage that needs picked up. And there's a courier building where you can hire workers to collect and deliver your goods. Then all you have to keep up with is foraging for things like go nuts. Those are the donut looking things in Gogo Town. <laughs> and they grow on bushes, don't ask. There's unprocessed wood and stone to gather, as well as managing garden plot planting and monitoring restaurant inventory as well. What's nice is that even if you're out of something, you're not really punished. That shop can simply be changed to a different fit out, depending on what you have excess of, or it can just sit empty. As much as I've enjoyed playtesting GoGo Town, there are a few things worth noting and hoping that might improve before launch. First, there is so much you can do within your town that I found myself a bit confused how to accomplish some things, such as receiving tickets from items I exported. They pop out of this machine, by the way. How to obtain some of the ingredients for the restaurants and where to get more seeds. So a more in-depth tutorial or pop-up reminder tips would be helpful. Let's talk a bit about the NPCs, such as the ones on the farm, in the mine and forest areas, and by the fishing pond. There really isn't any interaction with them, at least in the playtest. The only reason this bothered me is that they and their buildings got in the way a bit, and they were a tad annoying since they served no purpose. I'm thinking that once the game releases, there will be a purpose to them, hopefully. But they are cute to look at. Speaking of purpose, we know that we're the mayor of GoGo -Go Town, but beyond that, our life is a mystery, as are those of our fellow villagers. As long as you're not counting on a storyline developing throughout your game, you won't be disappointed. Personally, I'm not a fan of games with a preset story that will likely be spoiled when you see someone else playing the game, and then the game loses its excitement factor for you. Nor do I particularly care what circumstances made me drop everything and move to a ghost town and then win the election. I just want to play a cute, relaxing game. And that is what GoGo -Go Town delivers with near perfection. So what do you think of GoGo -Go Town? Is it a game that you think you'll be playing? If so, what are you most excited about? What platform will you be playing on? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, the graphics and just the desire to make my town look cute and to function well and to be profitable and to play with the terraforming and all the cute little decorations, that is what has kept me playing. And I'm very excited to see what they do with GoGo -Go Town between now at the playtest and in the launch next year. If you haven't already, please smash the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Coming to PC, Xbox, Play Switch, Play Switch? <laughs> what the heck is a Play Switch? But the gameplay is so addicting. I just want to make my town cute. Whoop, I just knocked my mic. Let's go. <laughs> Please smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Could you hear my stomach growling? My stomach has been growling obscenely loudly this whole video. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through it so I can go eat breakfast. <laughs>